Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helo out of here now! I'm gonna get you back home, little brother. Hi guys, how how are you? I'm doing all right, yourself? Great, great, great! But I must say that I hate you a bit because I haven't been distressed at the movies since a long time, and that's all your fault, guys. And I wanted to know: was it stressful for you actually to film this movie during such a short amount of time and during pandemic? No, it was fun. It was yeah. yeah. This movie was a stress reliever for me. You know, this movie was was an escape. You know, we were very, very fortunate. You know, there was nothing really stressful about this movie. I think we had to, we made this and, you know, with a spirit of gratitude, you know, there was a spirit of community. Everyone was attempting to keep people safe and being, you know, conscious of the, um, or as conscious as we could about what people's individual lives were back at home. You know, we were trying to build community and be together and keep, keep one another safe and then make something that we felt, you know, hopefully uh, would be would, would would give people some excitement and some pleasure and some you know relief you know um, at, at the end of the day. So I just really loved the 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 spirit with with this movie was uh was uh, made. Yeah, I mean it was I think to be back to be making movies in in doing our job in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, knowing hoping that when the movie finally came out, that people would be able to go back into the theaters again and see it all together. I think that was really motivating for all of us. And we, you know, it was a, it, it, we knew it was a stressful movie. Sometimes it's fun when you're making a stressful movie that you know will be stressful for an audience yeah. and <laughs> you're, you're having a laugh, you know? I think that's part of it because you work with someone like Michael Bay and you know he kind of has it handled. And, um, and so for us, that was it, was, it was a laugh a lot of the time. I mean, there were times when Michael, would be, he would let me improv or something and, and he'd be holding the camera and he would just let me keep going and then Aya and I would do stuff, and then he would he would he would finish it like gah, gah, gah. that's so stupid. <laughs> 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 so it was like it was a lot of that. We were just we were messing around and having having a having a blast, like just doing kind of fun, stupid stuff. And and this is an action movie, but I was pretty surprised that the main character has a pretty emotional background. And starting with you, uh, Jake, Danny, is such a has a, such a big duality of uh, being ambitious of pulling off this hide, but at the same time uh, protecting his brother. Was it challenging for you to find this fine line of this character? I mean, I think that when a character is well written and put in the right scenario you know, you can kind of dance where you want and it won't, you won't fall off. That makes sense. And I think someone like Danny, his intention is very clear. Um, and then he, ha he has two intentions. One is obviously to get all this money. And then two, it's to make sure that his brother gets a lot of it and then his brother gets home safely. And so I had two pretty clear obje objectives as a character. Um, both, I think, came from an intention that the character believed is good. So you know, all the complex things that he has to do, sometimes not good to get that done, justifies it. And that was really fun to play because, you know, um, you could go very, very big and you could go very, very small. Just gave you a, a big, big, big canvas to play on. Yeah. And, and the same for you, Jaja. This character represents uh, the, the war veterans are, are coming back to life and, and they don't have enough support to have a decent life. And he ha he's trying to do the right thing, but the situation doesn't allow him to do it. So was it hard to you finding the right spot for this character? It was interesting finding the right spot. You know, uh, you don't want to play too much heart, but then you don't want to really be too... Excite. I mean, you don't want to give too much heart, but at the same time, you don't want to give, be too uh, excited about about being in this bank heist. Uh, but then you also don't want to get caught in the, in in a, in a moment of a of a of a indecision. And so I think you just really, for me, I just try to latch on to like, what would what is it like to what would it be like to go on this ride with my brother? You know, and I just uh, really cemented it in, uh, in a brotherhood. And then, you know, when I did that, then I was able to find the humor. I was able to find the, find the angst and the frustration, uh, to find the anger, to find the love, uh, to find the, you know, find the compassion, you know, and, and, and uh, um, 
and then also to find the moments to stand up for my brother at the same time too. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of colors to play, you know, uh, given the opportunities that we have. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Harry.